Okay then, dodging. If you're familiar with arena shooter type games in general, uh, a lot of this will probably seem pretty obvious to you. Uh, but not everyone is, so here's how to dodge effectively in ZGA to the best of my knowledge. Okay, well point one, you're harder to hit if you're moving. And the faster you're moving across your opponent's screen, uh, the harder you are to hit. ZGA has no aim penalties for moving, so you may as well keep moving while you're shooting at someone. Okay, uh, that said, if your movement is predictable, most people still aren't going to find it any more difficult tracking you than you find tracking a stationary target while you're moving, since you're basically both moving predictably on each other's screens. What you therefore want to be doing is changing direction uh, quickly and regularly in a non-predictable fashion. That way your movement is predictable to you, but not your opponent, so they'll have to react each time you change direction. Since humans have limited reaction times, this is going to mean it's virtually impossible for them to track you 100% of the time. Since you presumably know when you're about to change direction, and uh, in which direction you're about to change to, you don't have that delay in reacting, so it won't affect your aim uh, anywhere near as badly as your opponent's. Right, so then we can just expand on the idea of moving as quickly and unpredictably as possible using ZGA's movement mechanics. Since we've got more tools than just um, uh, uh, strafing. So for example we can throw a jump in every so often to change velocity quickly. The long jump is probably best for this generally, since you keep a fairly low arc so you return to the ground quickly. Uh, on that point, uh, contrary to the impression I think some beginners understandably get, floating for extended periods actually makes you a pretty easy target. You'll still want to make use of floating since, since it adds an extra dimension you can use for dodging, which will make you more unpredictable, and it also obviously allows you to get to some areas you wouldn't otherwise have been able to. The advantages of this is something I'm going to get be going into in a future video, that is uh, positioning. But generally you'll want to be mixing floating with running pretty rapidly, as in switching between the two pretty rapidly. When you do turn your magnet off, you'll generally want to combine that with the use of the grapple beam, which will just a speed you up and also give your motion a slight arc if you're, you know, swinging, uh, which is going to be better than going in a straight line. Even if you are using the grapple, the direction change isn't uh, instantaneous, you know, it's uh, gradual. So your opponent's still probably going to be able to predict it to some extent. Also, the uh, wall jump is pretty good for dodging when you've got your magnet off, since that does change your direction instantaneously. You still do run the risk of being quite predictable with the wall jump though, since if you run towards a wall and jump at it, it's probably going to be pretty obvious what you're planning to do to your opponent. If you don't overuse it though, it can be very effective, and it's not always obvious to your opponent what angle you're going to leave the wall at. Okay, I think that's more or less it for general dodging. Uh, the last thing to bear in mind is that the only kind of movement that matters for dodging is your movement on the opponent's screen. So if you're just flying directly at them, uh, there's no movement on their screen, you're just getting bigger, or if you're flying away you're getting smaller. So uh, no matter how fast you're going, if you're going straight at or away from them, you're still going to be a very easy target on their screen. So that's a risky move. If you do want to close with someone quickly, you're better off using at least a slight swinging motion. Okay, so that's everything to do with dodging I can think of without considering individual weapons. I'm planning to do some more videos uh, on individual weapon tactics in future, which will no doubt include how to best dodge each one. 